Electric shock can kill. Do not touch electrically live parts or electrode with skin or wet clothing. Insulate yourself from work and ground. If welding must be performed under electrically hazardous conditions, such as in damp locations or while wearing wet clothing, on metal structures such as floors, gratings or scaffolds, when in cramped positions such as sitting, kneeling or lying, or if there is a high risk of unavoidable or accidental contact with the workpiece or ground, use the following equipment. Semi-automatic DC constant voltage welder, DC manual or stick welder, AC welder with reduced voltage control. A secondary voltage shock occurs when you touch a part of the welding or electrode circuit. Perhaps a bare spot in an electrode cable. At the same time, another part of your body is touching the metal upon which you're welding. To receive a shock, your body must touch both sides of the welding circuit, electrode and work or welding ground at the same time when the welding output is on. Remember, the voltage at the electrode is highest when you are not welding and is called open circuit voltage.